Hello, uh, this isn't meant to be a full comprehensive training video, but more an overview of where we're up to. Um, a stage of development where I'll say 90, 95% there, we've got a few little bits and pieces like wizards and things to put on it and some data that we want to add to it, but I'll explain this as I go through. So we've already done the companies one, uh, so this time we'll do projects. So you click on the button for projects, it opens, create a new project, you just go into this area and create new. You can type in a description in here. You can pick a company, which is, you can say, look for all of these and scroll up and, okay, there is only one verse, so I'll grab them. Put in a location, you can put in a project manager with a drop down, as you can see. Some notes, um, they've got an address here, um, you can, that's the address that they're going to, but they may have a billing address, so you can slide between the two. If, if it's the same address on both, you can click on it, you can change these live. Um, you can nominate how far it is above the ground and you can see, unlike the previous versions, you could just nominate what you want the guys to take out on site and um, it just populates it as it goes. Here's your starting date, you want, want to click forward and sort of give it a due date sometime in the future. So um, it, it's fairly quick as far as how it works because everything's on the one screen. So if we go into the next screen, here's how we start to do the quote. So we start by picking out what we want to quote. We'll just create a couple of items in this case. And so let's look for a sign. It's probably the most popular. It, uh, when you pick the sign item, um, it's asking you what the X size is. So we might make it, you know, 24, uh, 1200 by, say, um, 2400. And then you click in the area next to it. And then what you need to do is pick the template that you'd like to drag the resources from. So we've selected a whole lot of different standard signs and you can add as many as you like. They could be specific to a customer or whatever. We just put in generic ones. So let's quote, say, an illuminated sign. And uh, we'll say select, we'll need some, for this illuminated sign, because we're, each one is its own, in its own right. You can copy those, of course. Um, we're going to need an AC panel for the back of it. We're going to need some digital printing for it. And we might need some Dynabolts. And um, we can look further down and there's a whole range of different things. You can have installation. So let's put an installation in there, the allowance. Um, we can um, grab an LED driver and a, um, a couple of LED modules. And then um, just click outside the box. And there's, there's the, these items here, what you selected to build it. Here's all of the items that are available to you in case you want to add some more. So then is all you have to do is say, well, um, we need one of those sheets and we need uh, one of these sheets and um, we need, say, three square metres of that and then we need, uh, say, uh, half a dozen bolts to put it up with and we need, um, uh, well, see, this one we might only need uh, 0.5, so we'll just go half of that installation because it might be an easy install. Um, uh, oops, I'll put a comma there, so that'll be good. Point five, what you got it? Um, and uh, uh, LEDs, you might want, I don't know, um, two for this project, and the LED modules you might need, say, 45. Um, and there's, there's your price. So you've, you've built your price on the fly. You can change individual markups. So let's say that one there, we want to mark it up, not 40%, but we might want to put it up 50%. It'll apply it straight away. And then um, we go back up to have a look at it and it's actually totaled it. And then it's saying the standard markup and this is a default that you can put in is 20% and you might be happy with that. You might want to make it, you can have a look at it and say, well, no, that's a good price or you can change it on the fly. So there's your first item. This is your first bill of materials. This is what's going to go that the customer sees obviously without any markup. So the next item, you can do that again. I'll go through it once more. So um, you pick the item that you want to do. This time, let's look at a, say, a signboard. You want that, oh, sorry, we already did a signboard. That doesn't matter. Um, we'll look at um, a illuminated sign box. So there's your pre-detailed description. But if you didn't like that description, of course, you can change it on the fly. It's just text on the screen. It's linked. And the, the box might be, say, um, 600 by 900. 90 will do. Um, click next to it. So, um, interesting there, I picked the illuminated sign rate, um, but I, um, I could still use that, but I could also say 
grab the um, um, digitally printed uh, sign panels, um, or I can grab any item for anything I'm quoting because you might have products. In fact, you could have your own. This could be um, Bob's resource, and you could just put the resources that you don't want you, you want in there. You know, it's it's quite a, a wide and varied opportunity. So um, in this case, we'll do. Um, ACM cutouts. So these, this is all to do with router cutting. So we might throw some double-sided tape. We might throw another sheet of ACM. It's the same sheet of ACM that was in the other one. They're just cross-linked. Um, but we put other ones that are probably more suitable for here. So we've got a few different types of uh, ACM panel there. And um, we might add one of those. We just click out of the screen. Here's our details. There's a specific, specific thing we want. And then we can say, well, Okay, that four dollars a meter. We might need say um, nine meters of it. Uh, we want one of those, and so on. When you click out, click back outside the screen, and there we've built the price for that one. So we just throw that price in there with the margin on it, and you keep building the price. So what the customer sees is the the heading ACM boards, and you might want to add in ACM boards um, for front. Oh. front fence, for example. So you can personalize it as you go, and then that becomes its own little resource um, or, or sign item, as we're calling them. That's that, So this item here with that price is linked to these assets that are in here, which we call resources. So um, that'll give you a pretty good idea. There's a couple of cool features, like each one of these, if you like it, you can save it as a favorite and search for it. Um, so... Um, Anyway, that's, that's a pretty good run-through. Thank you.